Donine. I'm here to interview State Senator Mr. Terry Link. Pleasure for having you. Pleasure. Thank you for Thank your time. You. Thank you for having me. Matthew. What was your What was that epiphany moment that you said I want to run for mayor? Well, it probably happened a couple of years ago. I started thinking about it, mm -hmm. and it it got more aggressive in the last year or so when I saw what was going. On. I've lived here for I've lived in this area my entire life, mm -hmm. and I saw things that weren't weren't going into positive directions, uh, especially for the youth of the community, uh, for the mixture of what we have in Waukegan to where we weren't using the benefits of everything that we had here. And then I saw a higher tax rate going. I saw uh, people being laid off as police officers and other workers being laid off. And then I saw a crime rate going up. And I knew something had to be done, and I felt with my vast experience that I could be the right person for that job. Oh, wow. Okay. Thank you, sir. So, uh, one of the a major concerns, especially for me, or help me understand something, sir, how do you plan to serve as mayor of Waukegan and a state senator? Well, it's very easy. You know, first of all, I'm only gone roughly 50 days a week, okay. or 50 days a year, I should say. I'm not gone like the congressman has gone basically nine or ten months a year. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gone like 50 days and I have the fortunate opportunity of being able to fly out of Waukegan on a Tuesday morning and be back on a Thursday afternoon. That number one, but plus that is I, I consider that of what it may be a, felt like a disadvantage to the city. I will not be taking a pension, I will not be taking health care from the city and I will even donate a portion of my salary to Waukegan charitable organizations like after school programs and so forth. But what that being said, the biggest advantage we have is that I've been in the Senate for a number of years. I have built a lot of relationships through that time and I can leverage that uh, relationships like with uh, Illinois manufacturers, Illinois retailers, to start bringing businesses back into Waukegan. And working with these kind of organizations in both positions uh, will speak volumes of making sure that we get the positive things back to this community. And that's where I think it's a benefit for, for the city to have me in both positions. Uh, I also say that the city right now pays $9,000 a year, $9,000 a month for a lobbyist. I don't think I need a lobbyist for Springfield. I think I can get a lot more done than any lobbyist can get done. So I think that, you know, all of these things being said, it's if I didn't think I could do the job, folks, I wouldn't be doing this. But I, I you know, there, there's been history of other people doing it. 75% uh, of my colleagues uh, do something else besides uh, their Senate position. So we're all capable of being able to do this. and. They always say if you want to you want something done, you talk to a busy person, and that's who will get it done for you. Do you support a casino in Waukegan, sir? Yes. Matter of fact, I've been the sponsor of the the bill for the last 20 years, mm -hmm. and I've worked on this. The only reason it's not right now in the bill being located in Waukegan is because the present mayor had told me from the beginning of his tenure as uh, mayor that he wouldn't issue a liquor license to a casino. And there's no developer that's going to want to build a casino in any municipality that would not allow a liquor license. So that's when we moved to the Park City location. And But what I did is I put in there that 50% of the profits would go to Waukegan, 25% to Park City, and 25% to the city of North Chicago. So, matter, no, so no matter where it's located at, Waukegan will still get 50% of the profits from that riverboat. So I think that this is something I could do as the sponsor of the bill without the mayor's guidance of, or blessing of uh, allowing a liquor license so that I, you know, if he's blind about the problems with the city of Waukegan, I was not. So I was able to do that financially to help the city in a win-win situation. You, you answer the follow-up, which is how do you have, how, what's your plan to have it succeed, especially in Waukegan, sir? Well, the casino, casino, I think, will uh, succeed because 
through my years, I've gotten to know a lot of these, uh, not developers, but from the industry, of, you know, from like Las Vegas and Harrah's and other uh, people. And they rate this one of the most desirable spots in the, in the state of Illinois really? because we're losing a ton of people that are going on buses up to Wisconsin every day. Uh, those people wouldn't be going to Wisconsin, they, they'd stay here. Uh, we have a lot of uh, in and out population here with the naval base of visitors and other, you know, Abbott Laboratories, other, that people are coming in for a period of time looking for something to do. This would give them that outside uh, uh, venture to do on an evening or on a weekend when they're here and they have, don't see anything else to do, they would look for that. Uh, so I think uh, the numbers are that they write, because they're the people that understand where the money's gonna be made or lost at, and they see this as a huge win-win situation. If you become mayor, what's your plan for the Keegan Police Department? Well, let me give you a little overall plan first. My, my biggest plan is to professionalize the people that are in, in their working. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is not derogatory comments towards anybody that's there or anybody that's been there. But what I want to do is bring in a city uh, administrator immediately that would work right as alongside of me, somebody that has a professional background in, in uh, governmental administration and or uh, finance, so that they would understand how to operate the day-to-day -day, uh, ventures of the city. Then you bring in strong individuals to head all your departments that are immensely qualified to head, either public works, police, fire, uh, code enforcement, whatever positions there are, you bring in those types of individuals to run the city's day-to-day -day operation. With that, then you would look, you know, I have already looked at the possibility, and I think I can do it, of uh, changing what is now not even a legal department, but making a legal department, because we pay over $2 million a year in legal fees, where I feel that I could hire four or five young attorneys, have them operating at a full-time basis, for less than a million dollars, so we're already going to be saving over a million dollars. With that extra money, which would be no increase to anybody, we could hire 10 new police. With hiring 10 police, we would still be under the amount, but then with the idea of bringing manufacturer and retail coming in, you would lift up your uh, tax base in the city that would help us have tax revenue that's coming in to enhance even more in the police department. Uh, but I would put people in there running the police department that would be a no-nonsense type of individual. That, I don't mean no-nonsense towards the police, but no-nonsense against gang bankers, people that are uh, making our streets unsafe in this community. You bring somebody in there that would understand how to operate this, get it done, and get the bad element out of town. We don't need it. No one that's a law-abiding citizen wants these type of individuals in their community. So you move them, you get them out of there and find out that the, the sign is up that we have zero tolerance in this community. And the criminal element don't want to be around something that has zero tolerance. So what's your strategy to attract and keep businesses in Waukegan? Well, that, that's where the thing is. First of all, if you set up a, a, an operation where they see that there's a vision and it's a professionalism, and they will look at, they will look more favorably towards the community. If they see someone that's heading the ship, what the mayor would be, is that you, that's going in a direction where it's a positive for the, for the municipality, they're more apt to want to come here. And like I said, I've already reached out to these manufacturers, I already reached out to retailers who are interested in coming to Waukegan if I should become mayor, because they know the direction and foresight that I have that they would feel comfortable in here. And that's what you have to do. You have to make your streets safe. You have to make your employees happy. You have to make citizens proud of where they live. You do all those factors, then it makes it a lot easier to bring businesses in. And so my big focus would, would be is to do all of those steps so that we can have a stronger tax base in the town 
so that we're not raising our property tax. Matter of fact, maybe if we work hard enough, we could start lowering the property tax uh, on people that we have been way out of kilter of just raising the taxes. And this is why it's helping have a high foreclosure in the city. So all of this combination together works and it'll make it a better city for you and I to live in. Okay. Wow. Um, what's the strategy for education, sir? Well, I've already reached out to Dr. Patisse, the superintendent and the school board. I've worked closely with them for the 16 and a half years that I've been a senator. And Dr. Patisse and I are on a you know, first name basis. We call one another a numerous amount of times uh, pertaining to school issues. As mayor, I would even reach out further as a mayor and make sure that we have a strong working relationship between the city and the school district. Because when I'm working on development, I have to, have to make sure that this school district brings itself up into a manner in which people want to go to school there. Uh, and if this is a case where we have to get the bad element out of the school district, we get the bad element out of the school district. We got to make sure kids feel safe going to school, that that's a safe haven for them. And when you get all of this together, then it makes it a stronger school district. And when, obviously, when we can bring up that uh, tax base up a little bit, that will help the school district at the same time, that they will be able to pay for the resources and technology that's needed to make sure that you know every student that ever goes through the Waukegan school system has the same advantages of a person in Winnetka, a child in Wilmette, a child in any other community, that they would feel that they got this positive education if they want to get it. You know, I mean, we can't force feed anybody in education, but if you give them all the tools there, it makes it a lot easier for them. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, another question is, your, your pamphlet said gun control. Uh, what's your strategy on that? Well, I'm a, I'm a strong person. If you're a law-abiding citizen, mm -hmm. I have no problem. If you can get a FOIA card, you're a law-abiding citizen, so you're not a convicted felon, you, if you want to own a gun and have it in your home, God bless you, I have no problem with that. But my problem is, is the people that are illegal, the people that should not be owning guns, and convicted felons, so forth and so on, having guns in their possession. We've got to strengthen the city ordinance and state, ordinance, state uh, law to make sure that these type of individuals, if we catch them with an a illegal gun, that the minimum they go away is two years. And if you start doing this stuff, this sends another strong message that Waukegan is going to stop this nonsense of having gangbangers shooting uh, young men and women throughout the city. And if you could get it at the root of the problem and get these guns off the street, we, we are in a win-win situation again to make sure that we prosecute them. But that goes back to the no-nonsense type of uh, message that we're going to send that if you're a gangbanger and you're doing something illegal in this town, you're not welcome here. Because all we want is good law-abiding citizens that will grow up to be future uh, TV hosts. Uh, but this is what we want in the community. That's the type of people we want in the community. We don't care what nationality you are, what ethnic origin you are. We were all immigrants at one time or another in this country. So uh, we want to build on that instead of uh, destroying it. So we want to make sure that the bad element is not in town anymore. Oh, okay. Well, sir, thank you very much for your time. Thank uh, you. What would you like your parting message to be? Well, my parting message is, is if we want a, we want a Waukegan that's going to prosper, going to have a bright future, because the future is not me, the future is you. Uh, but if you do, I have the capability, I have the ability to make this city a better city immediately. And I think that if that opportunity is given to me, we will see it in a positive manner. And we'll see that you and I will be doing interviews a number of times because I would love a message to be getting out to everybody that how strongly we all feel to make this a better community. Thank you very much. Thank sir. you.